Hi guys, welcome again to the channel. Uh, today's video we're going to install iNav 8.0. iNav 8.0 just got out and um, we are going to install it on my already existing uh, 7.0 quadcopter. So first of all, you need to go to the iNav repository. Uh, this repository will be in GitHub. So it's in GitHub slash iNav flight. And then um, you will be able to get to the page where, you know, where iNav resides. So first of all, we want to be able to download the uh, INAF Configurator 8.0. Uh, this is a tool that enables us to install uh, INAF 8.0 on the on the flight controller to flash it into the flight controller. So INAF Configurator 8.0. That's where you get it. What we want to do is scroll down to the release page, depending on the kind of uh, machine you're using. If it's a Mac or a Windows or a Linux machine. You want to you want to click on either of the release pages to be able to go to get the exact um, target. So I'm using a MacBook and I'm going to click on the release page for MacBook. Now the INAV configure 8.0, um, would you would see some important information which you can read through uh, just to convert, to get yourself conversant with what's new and all of that. Um, we are going to scroll down till we get to a point where we can see the actual uh, we can see the actual software um, target of or, or file that we need to to install on our computer. So scrolling down, we see we see the assets. So inside the assets, I'm going to choose the one that is right for my PC, which is a DMG sixty four. It's a 64-bit um, for, for DMG. Um, then I'm going to just do that and then save it onto my drive. So I'm going to click on download. I already had downloaded it initially, you know, just before this video, uh, just to make things faster. So for now, I'm just going to cancel that. Um, if you see you will have it once you click download you should you will start seeing you start seeing the progress in your download um, activity so once you are done you know you can now double click the file to open the actual um, to open the actual file so let's just wait for it to download or maybe I can just stop this right now since I already have it so once it's downloaded double click on that file the DMG file to open up the installation um, file and then um, you should now see INAV configurator setup screen. So for a MacBook, for the Mac OS, the iOS, you just drag this into the applications folder. If it's Windows, you're going to just click the executable file to install or the installer to be able to run the installation um, package. So there are two ways you can also install your, you can flash the firmware onto your flight controller. One is to download the actual target for the exact flight controller that you have, and that you'll go back to INAV, um, the home page of INAV, come to, um, click on INAV and come all the way to INAV releases. This will take us to the firmware where you can look for the targets. Uh, and this particular version is the Galant Go Shock or Go Shock, Ghost Hawk or Go, Sh well, I don't know. Ghost Hawk, and then if you look at here, it has 180 something 86 releases assets, and you can now click on this to show more assets. So this would show you all the targets for all the the available um, flight controllers that INAV 8.0 supports. I know that they said in the wiki that it doesn't support a few other a few. Um, Flight controllers have been stopped. I think the 4 F411 or something, most of those flight controllers have now been stopped. They don't support um, INAV 8.0. So in my case, I'm using the Matec F722SC. So I'm going to just look for the hex file. And then I can now download it. But then if 
once you download this, you can now go into uh, I enough configurator and then use the local the local conf the local setup to install on your flight controller. But if not, we'll just go run the iNav configurator and then we can now load it from um, the online repos repository. So I'm starting my configurator now. And just wait for it to load. If it's the first time you're running it, it's going to ask you to, it's going to check for verification. It's also going to check for the source. Now, uh, Mac most times would find, would flag softwares that you install when they are not um, uh, from renowned developers, in a sense. So sometimes it's going to ask you to go to your security to open up and to allow a particular package to run. So in my in our case, uh, I don't think that will happen because I had already opened it in the first place. So let's see. Okay, so it's now asking us if we want to open the file uh, and um, if it's safe and all of that. We'll now click yes. So immediately we do that, um, the INAV configurator will now be executed. So the panel is up, so we're at the INAV configurator 8.0 and you can confirm it's 8.0 because on the top left corner you will see that um, the configurator is 8.0. So I'm plugging in my quad right now. just plugged in my code I'm going to connect so I'm connecting to my code now the first thing you might want to do if you're going to up, if you're um, updating from a later from an earlier um, firmware is to come in there and go to CLI and then you want to do a diff or a diff all and after you've done the diff it now populates all your initial configuration and then you want to save this to file so you click on save to file and then it's going to give it a name which you can change if you like uh, then obviously specify a location where you want to save it and then click on save so it's a text file so it's going to be in the .txt and if you want to after the install after you have installed INA firmware there you can go back and load the file the configuration back into your INA 8.0 but in this case, um, in my case, I want to do a clean install. So I'm going to go to firmware flasher and it's going to detect the actual um, flight controller. And all I just need to do is to click on the um, target I want. So I'm going to click on um, the 8.0 target. You see, it actually takes my, it actually says that it's going to install that on my Metec F722SE. And it has the date when it was released and then it's a stable version so once that is done you want to click on full chip erase and you leave all this on to the same just as it is and then you want to come down and then click on load from online so the gig is going to go online but before then you want to um this is why i told you you have to you can if you want to load a local file you can load it locally so you want to click on bootloader on your before you flash your firmware after you've clicked on load online it's going to show you the actual target target is written right there just for confirmation and then the release date and all of that there's also information here you can you can read through just to make sure it gives you a few more tips on what to do if you're uploading from the previous version and all of that um here just tells us what to do before upgrading from 7.0 7.1 and it has a few other things that it's a few new features 
and things that we must do. So you can go ahead and read all of this. Um, it will help. So before you flash your firmware, you want to make sure that you, you depress your bootloader button on your flight controller. Then once you do that, um, you should change to a DFU mode automatically. Then it will be able to flash. I'm just trying to put my press my bootloader and it's not okay. Right, okay, so I now know um, for the Matec F722SE, I've had this, the, the issues whereby my bootloader doesn't come on. I have to actually remove the GPS module. I'm using a um, M8Q58883L um, module. So normally I have to take that off before I can depress the DFU. I'm not sure why that happens. If anyone knows why that occurs, please, you know, hit the comments and uh, let us know if it happened to you and what you did to stop it. But in my own scenario, I just take out, uh, unplug the GPS module and then um, I can now come back to depress my DFU mode and the, my DFU button and then um, it will go into DFU mode. So let me just go ahead and press the take out the GPS mode module and then I'm going to depress uh, my button now now you see they have come to DFU mode so DFU mode is now active so once I've gotten that mode done I'm now going to click on flash um, flash firmware so just make sure that you're in DFU mode if not it's not going to work and then of course we've read all of that Run through that, make sure everything is functioning, and then let's click on flash. So we're gonna flash the firmware. So immediately what's happening is going to erase um, the all the program on the flight controller. It's going to erase that, and then after that, it's going to start programming the actual. So it's going to be writing the program now. So it's writing the 8.0 um, INAV firmware to the flight controller. So this normally just takes a few seconds and after that it will be done. Then we can now log into INAV and um, start setting up the quadcopter from scratch. So I'm going to end this video here. It's getting long. Uh, I try to keep my videos under 15 minutes. Um, but um, I'm going to be showing you the next series of videos where I install the, all the other, the other um, functions of the quadcopter.